Ooh. Ooh. Dirty birds. These are a bootleg of Sennheiser MX500s. It's just the most common. I, they must have gone public or something where it's so, like you're allowed to use this. I don't know. Like these stink. They really, really stink. But you know, these come with an undesirable product. They're kind of just thrown in there. I wanted to see if I could find a pair of headphones that are bespoke, and that's what you bought them for, that are worse than these. We need a referee. Hey, look. Um. Yes. I mean, look, MX500. KB here. These folks are proper and they actually watch this channel. I have their KS2s. I like the green. And I actually use their neons in my drum streams. So KB is Stellas. I, I saw reviews for these and they get pretty good reviews. And then I see the price. You can get these for about three bucks. I haven't even tried these yet. Oh, that's a nice egg bag that is. Wow, look, it fits a whole duck in there. You could fit multiple ducks in here. Duck, an egg, and a sausage. That's a good egg bag. Foam lads. Oh man, they're transparent as well. <laughs> okay, I'm interested. The cable actually feels pretty dang good. Got the M15 here, right? We're, we're doing dirty buds seriously, mate. Gold-plated tip. KB, you're spoiling us. They are headphones. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're a bit V sounding. There's like a bit of extra top end and that sort of thing. But three bucks. Like, <laughs> give me back my duck. Give, give it. That's it. And the egg. Okay, we're going to start semi cromulently and then we're going to march down to the depths of nothingness. Look. Duh. Duh. I think I got this from an office works or something. And it's like, yeah, you can pick up guys like this from the supermarket. 20 bucks, I think. Watch out, duck. Oh, my puck cell. Hmm, flat cable. There's the bud boys. It's kind of turned powdery and chalky looking. <gasps> no gold plated to tip. Come on, KB is dishing that out for three bucks. The cable feels okay though, that's fine. Yeah, they're, they're just strangely powdery. <laughs> you know when like cheap chocolate's been left in a school bag for too long kind of thing? Hmm. Yeah, extra, I mean, you know, look, they, they sound okay. <laughs> yes, they have extra bass. People like that. You know, the problem is they crackle. <laughs> like it's, it's like there's something going on inside of it. And I, cause I know it's not the M15. <laughs> well, mate, I wonder what's causing the crackling. Is it like the bespoke audiophile player made to high standards? All those earbuds I got at the Woolies. Oh, anyone regular to this channel just knows what's going to happen. sound just went like one of them popped immediately it just went <laughs> oh man uh and people like oh the diablo never kills anything man that was the quickest kill yet <laughs> oh we're gonna need you soon let me tell you you know like this is like the headphones you get that make your kids shut up on a car ride or something not offensive but gosh darn you know Three, three bucks. These next ones, I forgot that I even had coming to me. It was back when I was even semi-interested in doing wish things until I know that it's like a big plastic waste factory and half that winds up in the oceans. Yes, I do need to do a Team C thing at some point. But I, I think literally these took eight months to get to me. Yes, they're from Wish. I think they wanted 10 bucks for these professional rock and roll bees. Hi-fi, shocking sound. <laughs> these had better absolutely dazzle me, mate. Better not be like shocking as in how can someone release something like this? It's sports friendly. Packaging is suspiciously nice. Offers full range super sound. <laughs> Their words, not mine. Oh, it's resealable, like a pack of rice crackers or something. Guess that makes it easier to return when you eat them. Uh. Oh, do I have to assemble this crap myself? Why are there so many bags? Mm-hmm. Bud boys, ear dinglers, I don't care. Uh, yeah, like really thin, cheap cable, whatever. I, why put a protector on it like this? I mean, like gold plated. Ooh, look out. We're on par with the $3 KB ears now. <laughs> but why waste the production making these? Like anyone who's buying off Wish doesn't give a... Ugh. Oh my gosh, it has a microphone. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, they're transparent. And just, they look like just standard conventional headphones in an IEM design. All right, now I'm very curious. Um, look, 
they're not as bad as I thought they'd be. But they do have a lot of bass. <laughs> like, a lot of bass. Yeah, they're just really undetailed. But, I mean, oh, how's that microphone? They gotta go up against the KS2's microphone. So, like, this one time, like, I couldn't afford headphones, hey? So, I figured, like, Matt, I'll just make my own headphones. And then, like, I remember that I'm extremely untalented, hey? So, I thought, well, I'll just, like, sing to myself, mate. And then, like, on my own music system... But then that makes like PowerPoint presentations hard when I'm like trying to say the words and be the background music at the same time. <laughs> but what am I kidding, mate? I'm just laying on the floor. I don't have any prospects. Can I have some money, please? So like, I finally got the courage, hey, to stand up and do something, hey. Like I see a lot of kids looking for something to do, mate. So man, a skate park would be amazing. Man, like get kids off the streets, hey. So I went to the local council, booked a bit of their time. It had a PowerPoint presentation ready, hey. And, like, I wanted a big driving beat, like, boots, 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 boots. But then, like, I'm trying to talk at the same time. So I'm like, boots, boots, so like the boots, boots. The kids need a boots, boots, skate park, the boots, boots, to find, like, a boots, boots, a place to spend their boots. And, like, suffice to say, like, they actually smashed me over the head with a chair. Skate park got built, though, hey? I've got a concussion. The microphone is okay. I think that's more the benefits of a cable and why like we just need to bring the headphone jack back because wireless headphones have the worst mics ever. But you hear that scratching scrapey noise? That's my beard up against these thin cables. <laughs> I mean, these feel like nothing. Whereas these are conventionally cheap and are actually built properly. <laughs> Yeah, these are pretty nasty. I've never exploded a pair of in ears. This would be fun. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> you know, it's again this one. <laughs> Oh man, none of these boys are handling the Diablo at all. <laughs> oh, you're doing great work, man. Let's get lower. That's right. What you want is some super bass headphones. That's right. Headphones for, for super bass. Right, look, oh, look at that nugget right on the front. You, you know this guy's in for a good time. Silver plated? Whoa! The $3 KB ears don't even flex about their gold plug, but these guys are like, Oi, we've got the worst one! Super bass sound! Oh man, these things are heaps high tech. They're DVD compatible. And, and a 10016 with a swish around it. I don't get it. Digital stereo earphone? Wait, only one? <gasps> it was a buy one, get one free. The HP 16. Don't want to see the HP 15. Nothing interesting. In we go. <laughs> oh, wow. <well. laughs> I, th I, th I thought that would resist a little bit more. Oh my gosh, there's that silver plated plug. <gasps> a genuine feature, according to Amiga. <laughs> yeah. They, they are an original design. Man, I remember when Nugget phones had these really manky screens on these. What? How old are these? Doesn't say. God, the M15's probably just looking at me going, mate, what are you doing? Oh no, they fit the worst. Oh, my eggs and sausages. Boo! Oh, my pucks up! I might have lost control there. Just a little bit. Um, yeah. I, to say I was disappointed in these is, um, a bit low-key, really. I, I was just so dazzled that they were actually some of the least spacey headphones I've, I've ever heard. And there's sausages everywhere. Well, if you thought that was as low as we're going, I, I've got some news for you. It actually gets really steep now. This is the last pair. And I just want you to sit and think for a bit about what, what's the worst pair of headphones that you could imagine. I don't think you're getting low enough. It is my displeasure to burden your eyes and soul with what I have found, which is the Avaco earphone. Don't even get in the territory of earphones. This is earphone. I mean, <laughs> there are no features to be listed, just audio. <laughs> Copyright 9394, and it is disgusting. Can you believe no one wanted this? Oh no. Oh, there it is. There are spider webs on the inside. Looks like something you'd find in Chernobyl. Wow, look at this braided cable. 
Oh no, it just keeps going, man! Look, it's like a ball of yarn that your nan would use! It's still going! It's still going! No! We're only, we're only halfway! Oh man! Gosh, you can find your way home from the bakery with these! Actually, that should be a feature, why don't they put the... Holy wow! I mean, it said it's six meters long, and man, I'm, I'm gonna believe it. I'm really anxious. This this doesn't this doesn't look right. It's mono, by the way. I mean, of course it's mono. It's only one speaker. It's up M15. High fire weights. We are there, guys. We have found them. We have found the worst headphone that you you can get. Surely, like apart from it fitting awful, can you believe that this is not very ergonomic for your ear? Most bootleggy pieces of junk are of this, right? They're nothing but mids. Most of the music lives in the mids. That's how you kind of get away with it. And then sub bass in the top end, you know, that's what's missing out. And then you know you've got the supermarket headphones, which are kind of the opposite. They got extra bass and extra top end. This has nothing but the very tippiest top. No mids. No, no, nothing. I'm guessing this is just so you can hear a scratchy voice, like, for some reason that you need to be six meters away from. <laughs> this is the most low tier thing that I can ever imagine. Like, you know, KB ear, like, these sound like Meze Elites in comparison. Gold plated tip, nice cable in a retail box with a duck sized egg bag. Like, that's $3. Well, I'm very anxious as to what the Diablo thinks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's just how miserable they are. Like, there, there's no fun to be had. Zero fun. And no doubt, I bet there's still three billion of these gracing the planet with all sorts of different boxes. But honestly, it's the earphone audio that got me. And that's an old price tag that says five bucks. Yeah, rip off. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, and shoot strings for my patrons, especially these stinky names on here, because my $1 a month, I do extra videos. And so, you know, I mentioned that I'm on my first vinyl journey. I literally have never used vinyl before. Mum would let me touch it. But now I've risen to the level where I've been given my parents' like vinyl collection, and there's rippers in there. But I, I'll, you know, I'll show you what I'm listening to. And Frank might even show up. Who knows? It's a big world. So, thanks so much, and mate. I'll see you all next time. What? What do you want? Nothing? I knew it. You wanted trouble. Well, here it comes, Frank. You're gonna have trouble.